welcome to my youtube channel t nath physics class in my last class i discussed five question from nadist and w2 entrance exam physics paper 2019 today i'll discuss five more question from this entrance exam let's start first question when a force is applied on a wire of uniform cross sectional cross sectional area 3 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square and length 4 meter the increase in length is 1 millimeter energy stored in it will be young modulus of the wire 2 into 10 to the power 11 newton per meter square first option 6250 joule option b 0 0.177 joule Option C 0 0.075 Joule Option D 0 0.150 Joule So how can you solve this one? First we have to find out the expression of force We have to find out the value of force Okay, What is the formula of force? F equal to Young modulus into change in length into area divided by original length so here we substitute all the values y delta l a and capital l after calculation we find out the value of force is 1.5 into 10 to the power 2 newton so now as per question they ask to find out the energy what is the formula of energy that is E equal to half F into delta L. F is the force, delta L is the change in length. We already calculated the value of force. So insert the value of force. Change in length already given. We insert that value. And after calculation, we find out the result of energy as 0 0.075 Joule. The right option is C. That is 0 0.075 Joule. Okay. Next question, if the water pressure gauge shows the pressure at ground floor to be 270 kilo pascal, how high would water rise in the pipes of a building? Take G equal to 9.8 meter per second square and density of water 10 to the power 3 kg per meter cube here options are as option a 27.6 option b 26.5 option c 36.3 and option d 33.6 okay here unit is meter so for that one, we have to know the formula of pressure. Pressure is P equal to rho G H. Rho is the density, G is the expression due to gravity, and H is the height. Then H equal to P by rho G. Insert the value of P, rho, and G. After calculation, how much you got? 27.6 meter. So, right option is A. That is 27.6 meter okay next question a Carnot engine takes 3000 kilocalorie heat from a reservoir at 627 degree centigrade after doing work rest is supplied to sink at 27 degrees centigrade then work done by the engine is option a 4.2 into 10 to the power 6 joule option b 8.4 into 10 to the power 6 joules option c 16.8 into 10 to the power 6 joules option d 0 so how can you solve this one first you have to convert the temperature into Kelvin so we are given 
T1 after calculation we got 900 Kelvin T2 300 Kelvin T1 is the temperature of the source and T2 is the temperature of the reservoir then you have to find out the value of efficiency now what is the formula of efficiency here given T1 minus T2 divided by T1 insert the value of T1 T2 and okay after calculation we got efficiency as 6 by 9 so in question heat of the reservoir already given q1 equal to 3000 kilo calorie so we convert into calorie as 3 into 10 to the power 6 calorie again work done equal to eta into q1 so put the value of eta q1 then after calculation we find out as 2 into 10 to the power 6 calorie as per question the unit is joule so we have to convert the calorie into joule so 1 calorie equal to 4.2 joule so after conversion and calculation we got 8.4 into 10 to the power 6 joule so right option is b that is that is 8.4 into 10 to the power 6 joule okay next question A spring, a spring force constant K okay, is cut into four equal parts and two parts are connected in parallel. Effective force constant is option A 4K, option B 16K, option C 8K, option D 6K. So first of all we have to find out after cut each part spring constant's value. Okay. What is the value of each part? So we know what is the formula. If a spring cut into n parts, then each part spring constant is n times of original spring constant. Okay, here n equal to four. Again, we know the formula of resultant spring constant whenever two spring connected in parallel. That is kp equal to k1 plus k2 here k1 is 4k and k2 is also 4k so after insert and we calculate we got as 8k so right option is c okay next question when a source is going away from a stationary observer with the velocity equal to the velocity of sound in air then the frequency heard by the observer will be option a same option b doubled option c halved and option d one third so here we have to find out the apparent frequency okay so source moving away from the observer under such situation apparent frequency heard by the observer as nu dash equal to v by v plus v dash v, v by v s into nu here v is the velocity of sound v s is the velocity of the source and nu is the frequency of the source that is original frequency okay as per question here given v equal to v s insert the value and after calculation we find out the frequency heard by the observer as nu by 2 that is half of the original frequency so the right option is c that is half okay this much so in my next class i'll discuss five more question from this entire exam so if you like my video please subscribe my channel just press the red mark subscriber
ओके थैंक यू स्टे सेफ